If you're already using Google Forms in your classroom, then you're going to want to see what I have for you today. Let's add audio directions and allow students to answer with their own audio. Let's check it out. Okay, so today we're looking at how you can add audio directions into Google Forms. This also works in Google Slides. So if you notice on this Google form here, I have written directions as well as audio directions. And if I click this purple play button, my directions will be read aloud. Um, you can also have students answer with audio directions. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Chrome Web Store. When you go to the Chrome Web Store, you will just search for Moat. And when you see this extension, um, pop up, go ahead and add it to your extensions. You will know you have added it because you will see it over here. Or if you pick manage extensions, then you can go down and pin that to your toolbar. Once you've added this extension, your forms and slides will automatically update. So when you come to your forms and you're adding a question, you will want to make sure you add this as a short answer question. Anything added as a short answer question will give students this moat icon so that they can also answer with audio directions. Teachers can give audio directions for any type of question, but students will only be able to answer short answer questions using the moat extension. Students will also need to add the moat extension from the Chrome Web Store. You can go here and send your students a link directly to that um, extension. And once students add that, it will also pop up as an option in their Google Forms. Okay, I hope that has been helpful. So now you can allow students to access forms in a new way.